Just go out there and have fun. <laughs> fun. I was expecting it to be so much easier than it was. And I went out and, in Malibu with a surf instructor and was just completely humbled by the whole experience and just realized it was gonna be a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. But at the end of the day, it is more rewarding that way. I love surfing. I was out there in the water all the time, actually. But the first time I went out, like, I couldn't even paddle. I was just like, I kept falling off the board. Nobody can. She but, kept getting back on. Yeah, I absolutely love it. I still go surfing now. That water will humble anybody. Exactly. I mean, I'll keep going, but I... I almost died three times trying to learn in two weeks, and then you know, a month's worth of dialogue. It's hard to remember everything when you get back to it. And then you're in that ocean. I mean, it's not hard to forget when you got a six foot wave behind you. <laughs> you know, yeah. it's my size, but it's, you know, a hundred times my weight. And um, the thrust of that sucker, you know? Yeah. It's either gonna push you straight or down. And um, in my case, it's most of the time down. It was three feet, one minute, and then next thing you know, some sneaker waves came out of nowhere, and next thing you know, it's six foot. And this guy's pushing me out, and he's like, well, you know, you have to learn to respect the ocean. Bye-bye. And I'm like, what do you mean, bye-bye? Yeah. Look at this sucker. <laughs> mm, she, she, did a, she was going for it, she though. Was Seven waves. Boosh. <laughs> I'm like, help! He's like, hi! You having fun? And I'm like, no, I'm dying! <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, so for you guys, you're holding on to my damn back! <laughs> I was running with him, no. older. I mean, we also had to do running with rocks underwater, and it actually, you feel really good after you're done with it because of what it does for your lungs. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, it's, I mean, it helps your lung capacity, so it's necessary. This is a pipe. Pipe's over there. Let's go. Pipe's over there. The boy's going to block for you. I mean, she obviously already knew the lingo, but for us, it was, yeah. uh, we didn't necessarily, it wasn't only surfing, it was the culture, it was the language, the body movements. It was everything. It was a whole new lifestyle. And I had to be, I had to be her coach, so yeah. I, I was like she, she really sticking had to, to Brian Kalano, like, like, yeah, so what you talking about? By the way, <laughs> they pigeon did. pigeon you're speaking, man? They did an amazing <laughs> job at representing. Hydro surfer. mechanics, is that they what it is? head on. We just give you a taste of what the surfing lifestyle is like, and it's a beautiful thing. I think the director did a really good job. He is a surfer, and his highest goal was, you know, I want to keep this real. I want to keep it authentic, you know. He didn't want it to seem, you know, scripted at all. It was a great, great experience. experience. We did not fight. Sure. Never. We were together 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and we were just out of it came other. a great friendship. I'll know these girls for the rest of my life. They mm. were, I know personally, they were my oxygen support. When things got really tough, they were always there for me mm. to either like bitch out or share mm. my joy with anything. They were like my best friends, and you know, great friends for life.